Prayer has no power unless it's focused on God. He is the one who puts the power in prayer as he graciously responds to our requests. We're so honored to see how God answers our specific prayers. We consistently pray against anti-Semitism, but God sometimes surprises us in how he intervenes. A young man recently joined Life in Messiah who came from a neo-Nazi white supremacist background. Not only did God change his heart in bringing him to salvation, but he replaced his hatred for the Jewish people with a love for them. Now this man desires to share the gospel with the ones he once hated so much. We always pray for God to arrange evangelistic opportunities for us. I was shocked when a young Jewish man said, the last time I visited a church, the preacher was ranting about how terrible the Jewish people are, so I just got up and left. Shockingly, this man had not only visited a church in the past, it's very rare for a Jewish person to do this, but after many years, he'd chosen to visit one again. As we talked after the service, I took the opportunity to share some gospel basics. We met again later that week. It was a limited opportunity, as he was only in the area for a week. But we had an amazingly deep and real conversation about the truth of the gospel, the evidence of the messianic prophecies, and how he can have new life in Jesus the Messiah. I'll probably never see him again, but I continue praying for God to work in his heart as he reads the New Testament I gave him. After years of ministry, I was beginning to feel the strain. Preaching, teaching, and evangelizing were all things that I thrived on, but I wasn't paying attention to the balance. I overcommitted again and again. The enemy saw an opportunity and pulled the rug out from under me, and I found myself in a burned out collapse. Along with it came despair. Would I ever again be able to engage in the ministry I love? What would happen with all the ministry opportunities I had? Through the prayers and support of believers and the faithful healing love of God, I was able to begin recovering. Everything's not perfect, but God is faithful and I'm able to again do the things I was created and called to do, to share God's truth with the world around me. What's the best way to reach people with the gospel? It's a question we regularly ask ourselves. There are many ways, but we found that one of the best ways to reach large numbers is through platforms like YouTube. Our evangelistic videos have over half a million views, half a million people hearing the gospel through video. These efforts are not without cost though. Camera equipment, hours spent filming and editing, and an advertising budget are all areas where finances are needed. We have seen several generous gifts over the past couple of years that have allowed us to fund our video efforts. God has answered our prayers with how he has moved people's hearts to partner in this awesome outreach opportunity. The prayer of a righteous person has great power, James 5.16 tells us. Don't grow weary in praying, especially for the great evangelistic work we are all called to. God hears, and he works as his people pray.